Welcome to hear more about the International Master's Degree Program in Tourism Marketing and Management at the University of Eastern Finland. I'm Juho Pesson and I'm the head of e-tourism research uh, at the University of Eastern Business School and also uh, responsible for managing this program. Um, in this presentation, we are going to go through three different uh, topics. We're going to have a short introduction into what is tourism marketing and management, or TMM as we um, like to call it. Uh, we are going to discuss a little bit more about our studies, how is the program like. And then we also have some questions uh, from our uh, potential applicants that um, I think the answers could be interesting for many, many people who are thinking about applying for the program. So first of all, we are of course uh, part of the University of Eastern Finland, which is an international um, university located in, in two cities in Eastern Finland, namely Joensuu and Kuopio. Our program, the TMM program is uh, based in Joensuu campus, quite close to the Russian border. Um, there's uh, almost 3,000 uh, staff members at UEF and, and more than 15,000 degree students. So it's quite a big university and we also have a fantastic selection of elective studies for our students. So you can study um, almost anything from, from all our four, four faculties covering many different topics at the university level. So that's one of the interesting things about doing a degree in University of Eastern Finland, so the study opportunities are quite vast. Our TMM program is also part of the Tourism Business Research Group, uh, led by Professor Raya Kompula on uh, top and center in this picture. What this means is that the uh, education in our program is based on the research this Tourism Business Research Group group is conducting. So um, whatever we are teaching is, is, is always based on science and literature. Uh, about the program itself, we started in 2017. We had the first intake in September 2017 at the UEF Business School. So we are still a relatively new program. Uh, we identified a definite need for business experts in the tourism industry. And, and this is not just in Finland, but globally, the knowledge and skills of the tourism industry regarding marketing and management at the destination and business level is still lacking. And we hope to, to alleviate this problem in Finland and also internationally. In the first uh, application round, we had 56 applicants, but now in the in 2019 application, we had 182, and, and the number seems to grow quite fast. Uh, it was an international bunch with um, applications from 40 different countries. The uh, main staff is is me and and Raya, but also we have a um, big research group behind us who are all supervising our master's thesis. For example, we have adjunct professors, visiting lecturers, guests, businesses, and, and PhD students who are all helping us to run this program. Our goal is, is of course, to make tourism better. There is um, still quite a lot of uh, uh, issues in the tourism industry. Uh, especially regarding the sustainability aspects. And, and we think that uh, sustainable business and, and business models are one of the solutions for many problems within the tourism industry. And, and that's one of the core things that we are looking at in our research, as well as um, one of the themes in our program. So we have four contexts or themes uh, in the program, which are sustainability, uh, information and communication technologies, well-being and nature tourism. And we think that this combination forms quite a good platform for the future of sustainable tourism. Um, a few words about our intake. We now accept about 20 students a year. There is no tuition fee for um, EU students, but for those coming from abroad, from outside the European Union, uh, uh, our annual tuition fee is 8,000 euros. Now, for, for the ongoing um, 
uh, December 2020, January 2021 intake for September 2021 studies. We offer all our uh, non-EU students a 50% tuition fee waiver, meaning that um, you only pay 4,000 euros a year. Uh, our study uh, degree requires that you have a bachelor's degree or are about to finish a bachelor's degree when you apply to study with us and have 60 ECTS credits of business and or tourism related studies in that bachelor's degree. So it gives you some kind of basic background in the topic that you don't have to start from nothing because we are um, this is a master's degree program and we go quite deep into the tourism business field. So you need to have good knowledge um, to, to keep up with our courses. We also require our students to have English language proficiency. There's um, uh, two different ways to do it, either through your early education or through various tests. And you can read more about them from our website. Uh, we rank the students who apply to our program according to the motivation letter and, and success in earlier studies. And uh, all our students who, who study in our program are eligible for um, annual 1,500 visit Karelia scholarship. So at the end of each year, we give top three students um, in, in first and second year uh, classes um, 1,500 euros funded by uh, Visit Karelia, which is a local destination marketing organization. Um, and this is a fantastic indication how the local stakeholders see the importance of our program. But let's talk a little bit about the program. How is it like to study there? This is our uh, the structure of our degree that can also be found from the website. Uh, basically, during the first year, you study the courses in the major, this uh, from tourist behavior into quantitative research methods in tourism business. That's the package that, that you focus on during your first year, uh, as well as current research in tourism. Uh, we also start our studies always with introduction to tourism marketing management, which is a nice way to learn more about our program and, and goals and about the local tourism industry. Uh, then during the second year, you should do your elective courses, which are part of these other studies. So about 25 ECTS of elective courses, as well as focusing on your master's thesis. And uh, by the end of the second year, you should have finished all of this and should be ready to graduate. What is great about graduating from University of Eastern Finland is that even after graduation, you still have two years to study uh, basically whatever you want in our university, which is a fantastic opportunity to further improve your skills and knowledge in the topics that you are interested in. Um, we have a fantastic advisory board in our program. Uh, you can find more information about our websites from this advisory board. They are representatives of tourism businesses and destinations and they ensure that the content and what we teach and how we teach is um, up to the certain level that uh, they require from people that they hire. And especially that the future needs of the industry are considered. We are meeting the advisory boards once or twice a year and, and also our students have fantastic uh, possibility to meet them and, and discuss with these prominent um, uh, members of the Finnish tourism industry. We like to participate our students in, in our education uh, quite a lot. We have a fantastic uh, bi-directional feedback. We give feedback for, for, from the courses and, and collect quite a lot of feedback from our students and, and continuously try to improve uh, our program. Uh, we have also a blog at tourismmarketingmanagement.com, which is becoming quite popular. It's mostly written by our students and uh, it has thousands of views and, and readers. Uh, annually, even even starting to have um, monthly. Uh, we believe that you don't do assignment just for yourself or just for 
for us teachers, but you also demonstrate your knowledge and capabilities and, and, and create value for the tourism industry in general. And this blogging is, is a fantastic way to do that. We also have, besides blog, for example, quite a lot of material on, on YouTube. You can see, for example, from my YouTube channel uh, already, uh, destination marketing and information and communication technology, uh, uh, information technology and tourism business course uh, materials and, and can even study them before joining our program. Uh, we are oriented towards uh, achieving the learning goals on, on, on the various courses. Uh, we are using a mixture of flipped learning and traditional classroom activities, especially uh, when, when things are normal. Uh, we use um, assignments where you get to apply theory to practice quite a lot. So you need to understand the literature and what is being written and also find the practical relevance of what the academics are doing. There's already quite a lot of um, uh, answers and solutions for common problems uh, in the industry. Uh, from reading academic journals and, and papers and we are that's one of the skills that we are focusing on quite a lot in, in our studies. studies. Uh, one of the peculiarities is that we don't have exams. We believe more in informative um, uh, assessment of learning. So continuously uh, developing our skills and, and knowledge instead of just uh, uh, summative assessment where you finish one exam and that's it. We, we, we try to give our best with personal guidance and, and create fantastic learning experiences for our students. We're also partnering with Think Digital and all our students have access to uh, Digital Tourism Think Tank Launchpad, which is a fantastic resource for destination marketing and management materials. So this gives a a great view of what is going on in practice in the destination marketing and management fields. And, and they have videos, assignments, texts, and, and fantastic uh, um, array of, of materials for our students. And in addition to this, understanding the academic literature around these topics uh, provides a strong background for a future career. Uh, we already have quite a lot of graduated students and, and you can see their master's thesis topics here. Uh, they are, as you see, uh, looking at the tourism business phenomenon from many different perspectives um, from the destination level as well as the business, individual business level and also even looking into the consumer behavior and um, understanding how, how, how and what tourists value. Uh, all of this information is also available on our website. Some of the career paths that our graduates can take are, are for example, in the tourism development projects uh, within the destination marketing and management field, uh, working as a marketing consultant or um, a marketing um, uh, advisory. Uh, or um, in the marketing department, almost in any business. So looking at marketing strategy, analytics, creative, and so on. You also have the possibility of uh, starting an academic career if you are curious about how the world works and um, understanding it a little bit better. Uh, of course, social media marketing is a big field uh, even today. And in addition to all that, you can become an entrepreneur, for example, starting up your own tourism business. And uh, we are sure that the skills and knowledge that you gain from this program will allow you to launch a successful tourism business. So we have our application period ongoing as we speak, and it lasts until January 20, 2021. For, for study starting in next September. We always have our application period open around the new year and for, for study starting in next September. We accept about 20 students each year. You can apply via study info and more information, of course, from our website. 
Then we've also received quite a lot of questions from, from people thinking about applying for the program. And uh, these are some of the examples that I'm, I'm, I'm happy to um, elaborate a little bit more. For example, possibility to do exchange studies is of, of course uh, interesting for, for many students. Uh, in our program, we've designed it so that it is possible to do exchange studies during the autumn semester of the second year of studies. So you can do one semester abroad where you study your master's thesis as well as do elective studies. We have a wide network of partner universities, especially all over Europe, that allows you to do your exchange studies. Uh, one of the things to um, s help us to select our students is, of course, the motivation letter. Uh, one of the questions we received is how to write an impressive motivation letter. And the best advice for this is to follow the instructions and especially um, uh, invest time and effort in, in, in uh, planning the master's thesis at this point. So it, it should give us some kind of understanding of how academic and, and suitable your line of thinking is. Uh, then the question of can the degree be completed online is especially valid now with um, the COVID-19 pandemic ongoing and no one knows how long that will take. At this moment, we are ready to give the degree uh, completely online, but uh, the decisions to do that are still open. So we are now monitoring the situation carefully. We hope that our students would be able to come to join so to join us, especially during the first year. The first year is intensive and, and has a lot of studies, a lot of cases, a lot of business collaboration, and it definitely helps if um, uh, if um, uh, you can be in, in UNSU. But we are quite flexible in our approaches. So uh, different kind of um, uh, different kind of flexibility is allowed in our program. Um, and, and we of course have to monitor how the situation develops with the pandemic. Um, what if uh, I don't get a bachelor's degree certificate before the application deadline? Uh, what transcripts to upload? So uh, it is possible to apply for our program even though you don't have your final degree and final transcripts just yet during the application period. You have until beginning of August to, uh, to upload and, and, and uh, provide additional evidence. Uh, just upload your most recent transcript that, that's possible and it will do just fine. Uh, is a bachelor's of business administration from a Finnish University of Applied Science eligible? Uh, definitely we, we welcome uh, bachelor's of business administration, bachelor's in, in, in tourism and hospitality from Finnish University of Applied Sciences to, to join our program. Um, then the question of is, uh, is a GMAT test needed? It's, uh, the GMAT test is definitely not needed. It is just an additional option for those students who have not finished their uh, bachelor's degree yet and, and, uh, and uh, or don't have a bachelor's thesis actually in their transcript and would require the points uh, that um, other students get from, from the thesis. So it's, it's one way to cover missing thesis. Is the topic of the bachelor's thesis evaluated? Um, yes and no. So it, uh, it is evaluated in a way that if it's tourism business related, then it's calculated as part of the uh, suitable studies for our uh, degree. But if it's um, uh, not tourism business related, still the uh, uh, GPA, the average um, uh, point calculation concerns also the bachelor's thesis. But it, uh, it's definitely not a requirement that the topic of the bachelor's thesis is somehow tourism business related. We can have, and, and, and uh, students from many different fields have um, uh, been accepted to study in our program. 
Uh, is a separate uh, GPA calculation necessary? Yes, uh, we very warmly welcome a GPA calculation conducted manually in ECTS grading scheme. And also within the official documents, there should be a GPA uh, uh, visible. Uh, then there was a question of, can I get into a PhD program in the European Union with a tourism marketing management degree? And our degree is, um, you get a degree of master of science in economics and business administration. That degree is um, acknowledged all over Europe and, and can enable you to, to study uh, your PhD anywhere in Europe. And then the last question we received is, should I mention Open University UF tourism studies in the motivation letter? Regarding the motivation letter, it's important that you follow the instructions and especially the word count and don't write it too long. Um, of course, these kind of um, studies show us that you are motivated in the in the topic and uh, I, I would warmly recommend you to mention them and also remember to add all tourism business related studies into your transcript. So these were the questions that we received from our students. Hopefully they also help uh, all the future potential applicants to, to find information about the program and, and uh, uh, I hope that uh, you found this uh, presentation useful and that you consider applying to, to study in our program because, well, it's, it's educational and, and we have quite a lot of fun uh, while learning. So I think we have a great, um, great program in, in Joensuu and we welcome, warmly welcome uh, future tourism business experts to join us. And if you have any questions, uh, regarding the program, you can you are free to to contact me either on on social media, LinkedIn, Twitter, or just email me, uho.pesonen at uef.fi. Thank you.